Hello everyone, welcome to another video series of Expert Matters only on ISBR's official YouTube channel. So today we have one of the most beautiful guests among us. She is, uh, her name is Sheetal Purohit. She is an expertise trainer for IELTS, TOEFL, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, CAT. And she has years of experience in campus recruitment, bank PO, soft skill development and communication skills. Her specialization is personality development and she's also a motivational speaker. So today she is going to share some tips and tricks to develop English language and to behold your interview skills and to upgrade yourself. So welcome, ma'am. We are so glad to have you on board with us. Thank you so much, Shruti. It's all my pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for uh, thinking as if like I'm capable enough to guide you all. Thank you so much. Definitely, ma'am, you come with years of experience and would definitely want to acquire, want to uh, attain something productive out of it. So definitely, you, we are going to ask you a lot many questions today. And first, first question would be, what is the importance of English as a language for management students particularly? See, English is very important for any field, not just for the management, but when you enter into the management field, the level of English, the expertise in English, which a company or anybody which expects from you, that bar rises to a great extent, right? So they expect from you to a good level, a very great level of communication skills. And you should be able to communicate that freely that the person is able to understand what you're speaking. And, and the entire soft skill should be your body language has to be perfect. Your, your pronunciation also has to be perfect. And the way you impress your eye contact, your everything has to be perfect, right? So yes. that becomes really, really very important because see, once you do your uh, graduation in terms of management, then definitely you are going to get uh, <clears throat> your dream job in terms of in the management field only. And as a manager, you are the face of the organization with uh, for whom or which organization you are working. So as a face of organization, when you go and talk or interact with your clients, not necessary that all your clients are going to be from your Indian background. Nowadays, multinational companies are there and our clients are from around the globe. And uh -huh. one language which is common around the globe for communication is English. And we Indians are considered great at English, right? Now, being an IIM graduate or a management field graduate, if you go and you don't uh, show off your skills or if you don't process those uh, kind of the skills which are a great command of this particular language, it's obviously not expected from a person who is uh, from the management field. So you must have great command, not just over your written English skills, spoken English skills, your soft skills, your everything, your entire personality has to be totally different from any other graduate. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so what are the things, What? how can one practice your uh, grammar or language every day? What are the things you should take care of? I would suggest to improve on your grammar. First, start off with the first chapter of like, see, grammar is a vast subject. Everybody thinks about Renin Martin or the books are there and lots and lots of rules are there. But just basic thing, which where mostly students, they make mistake is in terms of subject verb agreement. Now, mm. if you focus on this particular chapter and then study from some good book for say 15, 20 minutes also. And the basics, if you have got up subject verb agreement, and then when you start reading stuff and paying attention towards each and every sentence uh, subject verb agreement, then definitely you will see improvement in your construction of sentences. Along with that, to have a great impact over the listener, you should go through the connectors like if, that, though, although, ever since, however, these are certain connectors which help you to create complex sentences, right? So anybody, anyone who is like uh, a small child also can create small sentences without using connectors. But being a graduate, right, from the management field, if you are just creating simple sentences, it's not definitely going to give you a good uh, 
feedback or a good uh, like picture of what you are trying to showcase you may have a lot of stuff but if this communication skill is not good if you're not using your connectors properly then obviously you it will lower off your image right there is another right. one person who is very good at communication skills and another person is just an average obviously most of the time it is seen right like nowadays in hindi if you see jo dikhta hai wahi dikhta hai right so That's if the person is having a great communication skills vocab is good subject verb agreement is good complex sentences he is making using these small words see they are i'm not talking asking you to use big words just if that do all those since ever since until because all these words you used to join sentences and see the beauty of the language which you yourself are speaking try and do that and you will see the improvement in yourself uh while exactly. reading also pay yeah. attention towards these things that big uh, sentences may they have these type of connectors right 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 so ma'am there are definitely a lot many students who come out from their houses for their management programs for their uh, graduation programs as well for, but, but mostly we see students complete their high school and their graduation in their hometown only and then they come out for management or their mba level programs uh but because of this they are a little shy and a little more introvert as compared to other people who are already out for some time from their house so they are very close they shy talking they shy networking connecting with people and they are also very not very much not good with the communication part although they know language sometimes but they mess it up because they're shy their closeness so how where should one begin from and consider a situation if somebody doesn't even know language so where should one begin from again yeah see as i said that see english is just the language right and there's no rocket science behind it the first the first and the foremost reason why students are not able to talk in english is the shyness only i would suggest that the moment you have decided to step out of your house take a admission in a good college and you've already taken admission you have come out to make your career right mm -hmm. and communication skills are really really needed now days like see in, in this scenario where you are communication skill is key to success i can say right so you should keep your shyness outside pack it in one bag keep it at your home and locker and come outside your house right and then you see don't shy don't feel shy at all everybody is sailing in same boat right if there are 50 students believe me out of 50 70% of them are sailing in same boat 30% are a little bit here and there so if everybody is sailing in same boat what is the point of getting hesitated or feeling shy towards anything right someone who will make mistakes that person only will learn from his own mistake making mistake right. is not a problem the great thing is you make a mistake you realize you have made a mistake you learn from your mistake and don't repeat that mistake the next time it's just the language nothing else it's okay if somebody is you one of your friend is uh, correcting you take it in a positive way yeah four years or two years what you are in your college or in your school that's your learning time nobody is judging you at that particular moment and their judgment is not going to decide your career right your right. career is going right. to be decided by what efforts you put in right. as i told start with the subject verb agreement chapter start reading some novel in english novels are very interesting see we all have our own choice some students they like fiction some like uh, some motivational book somebody like love stories whatever the novel is there you start reading it start getting yourself involved in that particular story see how when why i am particularly stating novels at this stage because in novel conversation happens right and in our day to day life also we converse with people so see how one person is uh, speaking in the answer what exam answer you are getting what it's not just always talking in english there are certain gestures also like mm, uh, some pauses are also there that's also the part and the beauty of language acquire that observe right. that and when you find some kind of interesting conversation we all when we read novels we relate stuff with our own life also so if you find something relatable to your life i would suggest if you are hesitant if you are not very if you feel you are not good speaker of english what you should do stick one like uh, go and stand in front of a mirror and start reading it out loud with the feeling see don't talk like robots 
when you are speaking when you are reading that feel the emotions of novel right your voice the like the intonation of your voice should go up down whether you are happy sad whatever the emotion is there it should be expressed not just by your voice your voice modulation your facial expressions your eyes your hand movements everything is included in that practice 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 and just a month one month of practice yeah you all have studied so much great marks you have got so just to get admission into any management college is not very simple right you have to crack lot of exams right right so if you have crossed that much path and you are very close to your uh, destination why stop now just because of language it's yes. just yes. one just small thing nothing is there and nothing is impossible it's not there is no rocket science you can always uh, ask me for help you can call me i will be more than happy or ask anybody for that matter whom you feel is good ask your friend also right doesn't matter there is no harm in taking help from anybody but read 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 a good reader is good speaker because vocabulary will also improve Right, right, right. Definitely. So, ma'am, uh, in our childhood days, we were always taught to speak in English, to communicate in English in our schools. Our teachers used to tell us there were certain restrictions where I was studying. You cannot uh, talk in Hindi unless you will be fined. Yeah, there was fine. I think. Yes, no? yes, there was fine, fine penalties. Yes. People, uh, students, and teachers used to communicate in English, and students were forced to talk to their friends as well in English. So, if yes. not, they'll call their parents, and there were restrictions. but we didn't took it so seriously uh, back then because we were too young to understand the importance of the language but there are certain ways definitely to everybody watching this video we you always have an option available there is no certain age to learn and we are too young to start preparing ourselves so ma'am what are the other things which makes one confident about themselves what are the things students should take care uh, of other than language as well See languages, as I told you, you have to look at your uh, sentence construction, mm -hmm. right? The pronunciation, your soft skills. You have to look at your presentation, whether you are presentable or not. Always dress up nicely. Look at yourself in mirror and see. Yes, I am looking good. I am looking great today. My hair is great. I am very happy. Keep smiling. Keep one big smile on your face. Smile is the key to success, right? right. Love yourself. right and then you start talking in english while talking in english sometimes students they say like they want to tell something right they are not able to frame sentences because of lack of vocabulary now again i would stick again to the same thing of your uh, reading a novel while reading a novel if you come across a word whose meaning you are not able to understand don't just immediately start uh, looking for that particular word in um, dictionary right just read two sentences above two sentences below try to get the context out of that mm -hmm. and believe me the context will definitely be either two sentences above or two sentences below read those four sentences very carefully and you will definitely understand that contextual meaning once you have understood that contextual meaning check for that meaning in dictionary 99.9% times your contextual meaning is going to be right and when you predict something and your prediction goes wonderfully right you know, then that's okay, the yeah. kind of confidence you get right so slowly give yourself that confidence yes i am capable love yourself before loving anybody else love yourself when you speak you record your speech right right see we have these uh, phones nowadays smartphones are there we have that process of recording right so you read some stuff you speak right something you speak out your feelings right some people right. Uh, oh, like see uh, my mom used to say write down uh, your diary before sleeping and then write down whatever good things bad things have happened and your aim something if you have hurt somebody if you have made somebody happy i would suggest speak that record that in english right and then once you have recorded that listen to your own voice right right you should fall in love with your own voice before falling into love with somebody else's voice right yes. so love your own yes. voice read if you feel that no i don't have that kind of uh, thing i cannot frame sentences or this is one again thing whatever you take a newspaper 
any article which you read uh, which you like or take out anything from your novel which you have taken right it doesn't matter you take one month to finish that novel but read it carefully read it with full emotions take one page of novel start recording your voice and then listen to your voice make your friends listen to your voice right and then you will see okay fine this is the particular word i could have pronounced it in a better way this is the place where i could have added little bit more emotion start off with only the voice recordings first for a week or so next week onwards record yourself video recording right so everybody because when you're talking your facial expressions right, right. so right. then you will see is my expressions are going along with my speech or not my hand movements are going along with that or not that is all called as the soft skills and the communication skills you may have great vocabulary very good uh, you are able to talk in english but then if you are talking like a robot please come here do this no, do sir. that i have finished my uh, breakfast i am in no mood to do something if i talk like this with you will you listen to me you will not listen to me for 2 minutes also yeah you will run away see everybody outside the world they need human beings and human right. beings have one special quality that is emotions right and we have that capability of expressing our emotions with our eyes with our facial expressions with our voice modulation with the kind of words which we use with our hand gestures the way you nod your head all this is your complete personality everything matters when you go out mm -hmm. in a market and you are working in any position where you are like see you are from the management field so obviously great positions are there so with great position great responsibility also comes definitely amazing amazing i guess these are little little practices in our daily life and daily routines would definitely help all the viewers all the viewers and listeners to this video and it is definitely going to change their life and improve for better so ma'am lastly we have almost come up with uh, to the end of the video i have asked you all the questions that are important for all my batchmates and all the management of grads in the entire country so lastly i would want you to share one motive for all the students everybody watching this video right now the uh, i would suggest that nothing is impossible in this world for the today's generation today's generation all of you are very intelligent very smart but just one mantra i would say you should have dream desire determination dedication and devotion towards your goal you should have goal in your life right and you should have these five things dream desire determination dedication and devotion towards your goal right Beautiful. if one way is not working don't change the goal never change the goal take another path right. you can change the way you can change the route but don't change your goal right so set your goals keep these five things in your mind and you will definitely success nobody can stop you from succeeding in your life beautiful beautiful ma'am it was such a lovely meet to interview you such a lovely interaction we had thank you so much for taking our time from your busy busy schedule thank you so much thank you so much shruti you considered me like uh, i can help you all or talk about this thing it's all my pleasure i'm really very uh, feeling honored and i'm thankful to you for giving me this thing and for best of luck to all the students who are going to listen this particular thing hope you all grow take care of yourself during this pandemic time right thank you thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. ma'am thanks a lot thank you thank you bye bye take care bye